Are you curious how to take a thousand pound grill from a crate to its resting place? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. So the Komodo Komodo will come on a truck with a lift gate. Uh, this guy had a pallet jack, so he um, you know, took it down off the lift gate. Here he was worried about it falling off and tipping, so he had me help him out a little bit. But you can see the plywood there, I just kind of Egyptian style, um, got it back to the patio and he moved it around and then left it um, perfectly positioned so I could put the ramp and then just slide it right onto the patio. So here's the crate that the Komodo Komodo came in. This is a 32 inch big bad, uh, or is it a super big bad? I don't know. But <clears throat> I mean, even the damn crate is impressive. So there's a ramp up here, which is how I'll roll this thing off. Um, and if you look at this side, you know, the ramp goes right there. So the idea is that this will roll right to its resting place on this patio here and join a couple of big green eggs. Um, in the patio so i'll give you the a little sneaky peek um it's a cobalt blue pebble um so things i don't haven't figured out yet is like how does it come off of there so that's what i need to figure out but for now um to get this crate apart there's essentially four bolts um two on each corner and you can see I've started working those out. These I got out already. Um, and then on this side, there's, you know, four more. Uh, and you can see the pallet got a little bit jacked up there. But yeah, custom made pallet. Even the pallet is impressive on this thing. So more to come. Okay, so <clears throat> once those four screws are removed, I just actually I did it by myself. I just lifted the top off. This one side had been cracked a bit. So I just took advantage of that and lifted it off on this side. Um, and yeah, the crate came off. So as I've mentioned, <clears throat> this, this top here is the ramp that will it'll come off on. Um, but this is the first time I've seen this thing and it is like people say um they're so much more beautiful in person than than what you can imagine I haven't even taken the plastic off of it um <clears throat> but that ramp will go right here as is indicated by this sticker and this thing will just kind of roll right here to its home so yeah we'll see all right, I can't reiterate this enough. This thing is so much more beautiful in person than any picture video. I don't care what. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm excited like a little five-year-old at Christmas, but it's just beautiful. So I just took the shrink wrapping off of it. Um, here's the first view, my first view of it. Holy smokes, it's just, it's like a a guy's uh well anybody anybody that appreciates it's it's a work of art wow i've got a little more to take off something i forgot to mention clearly <clears throat> that's not the the top um but you can see the top is right there so i need to unhook and undo all these things and it's even secured so it won't you know, move or um, open up this rope here, securing it down. So I mentioned that the ramp is really the top of the crate. So this whole top, you see these little rails, probably to keep it from coming off the side to the extent that they can, um, comes off and it's just put in here. I mean, that's why I've got this gun here um, with a bunch of like wood screws. So I'm in the process of taking those off this ramp will come off um, and uh, yeah next step in the process 
So those <clears throat> eight screws held this now ramp on here. And this is what you're seeing now is the top of the crate. So this isn't a cornhole set. You can see that is where the uh, the top of the grill kind of poke, poked through there. And you know, this cross member here gave the crate rigidity and um, also protected the top. So even the damn crate is impressive. So I'm definitely taking my time and frankly, enjoying taking this thing apart. So you can see this was the top of the crate. And so now you can see it's prepared to be a ramp and get this thing with its cousins here on the patio. Um, but <laughs> I still don't know, like, I, do I just roll these right off? I don't know. I need to do a little bit of reading and obviously I'm still in the process of getting this thing off, but I can't stop looking at it. It's so beautiful. You'll probably pick up on a theme as I keep talking about this thing. Um, this is just the top. And I mean, look at this screw, just to put my hand there, just to give you an idea. This thing is solid. It's completely solid um, and equally beautiful, right? So this will screw in to the top and make contact with a gasket that's sitting at the top and I'll show you that. Yeah, so when it makes contact with this gasket, it provides a seal, but you can see it'll screw into here and uh, looks like it's got a, a locking pin of some kind, probably to keep you from unscrewing it all the way. Um, but holy smokes, can you say it? I mean, can I say it too many times? Just beautiful. So the Kamado sits on a plywood box. You've got to take that apart. There's a crowbar that's included. Uh, some of those retaining straps and, and ropes and things, you take those completely off. Uh, I took off the front and then took off the rear and then was able to just slide it right on down the ramp, no problem. All right, so obviously slid right down the ramp, no issue. Uh, I think I was more worried than anything else, but it, it worked out just fine. Um, oh look, there's a little piece of the crate. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that up there or not, but uh, it looks awfully nice. And yeah, this thing comes with a lot of stuff. So I'm still trying to figure out how to uh, keep all this stuff. I just actually got done making some chicken thighs on this and oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, just a, a great tool. See you next time.